everyone welcome back to another counter side video today we are discussing incoming units okay incoming units awakened lee suyun and ifrit but before that if you would have updated counter side videos please hit the subscribe button down below okay guys so we are here actually i'm, I'm not gonna show you anything of a list but i'm gonna discuss with you guys what is going to be dropping so first and foremost we have um on october 27 so that is going to be this coming um tuesday awakened lee suyun banner dropping okay also we have admin soldier banner rerun so for those of you guys who missed the admin soldier last time now is your chance to get um, all three of them. So you have the rifleman, you have the shieldman, and you have the um, swordsman. So three of them um, are in that banner. Next is going to be um Halloween event, which we'll also be getting on October 27, next Tuesday, and possible Halloween skins, the old ones plus a big chance for new skins okay the new skins will be um awakened yuna serapel and karen wong okay so those are the you know anticipated skins but again guys that the, the the new skins might not drop just wanna you know make sure that you guys understand that it just might drop um i think only the uh, the old halloween skins will drop but again who knows it might drop as well okay and also for um november 3 which is uh next next tuesday um ifrit banner will drop as well estac banner as well will drop and the last one on november 3 it's going to be operator lena banner okay for those of you guys who are not familiar with Ifrit, before we go to um, Lee Suyun banner, uh, to the Lee Suyun, I'm just gonna take a look at um, Ifrit. Um, Ifrit is actually a mech. Okay, for those of you guys who are not familiar, um, this is actually a reinforcement of what we have already um, for mechs. So more or less, this is going to be a good additional to our mech teams um one of the few strikers who can attack air units and deals really a decent a, a tremendous amount of damage and is also quite tanky okay he is only actually three cost so again a very good um a very good uh, in terms of um what they call this the, the return that you get for three cost deployment for KR PvP, he is actually a 10 out of 10. So one of the best damage dealers and that's a top tier of any PvE game mode. Okay, if you want to use him in K in, in PvE. And in KR PvP, he also is scoring a 10 out of 10. So due to his high attack and speed and ability to penetrate... Um, penetrate defense he will counter all those pesky tanks with mdl dash basically giving them death by thousand cuts if you plan to use him in pvp do not level his banner passive to level five because he will only be one shot by nayu bin okay so again so let's take a look at him here in action so if is he, is he really worth pulling for so Again, I think he's one of the best mechs in 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 PvP and PvE as well. So, um, he, we will be getting him on November third. Okay. As you can see, guys, he, his basic attack is going to be firing uh, four machine guns at the foremost target. So basically, a short you know a short range. Um, in terms of this one, let's try to have some AI. Um, at the top so he's actually prioritizing flying units as you can see here so again a very good addition to the mech team um i hope you guys um are going to save up for him once he goes out on november 3 okay so i'm not gonna you know i'm not gonna go deep into all his skills i'm going to go straight to lee suyun 
Awakened Lee Soo Yoon is going to be dropping. So I'm also excited for her. Um, I actually was able to save up enough for Pity. Surprisingly. Surprisingly, I was able to save up for this Awakened Banner. Um, I wasn't I actually didn't know the next one, but you know. Hopefully, um, the last uh, 200 classified employment contracts next week that I will be buying for crystals will actually, you know, uh, have me give me the ability to pity her. But hopefully, I don't pity her. Of course, who 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 actually wants that? Because actually, during the Yuna banner, I had to pity Yuna, so um, it's it's it really hurts. It really really hurts. So more or less, um, she's going to be a ranger counter again very very good unit to have um she will really change the meta when she comes she will really change the way that we play things especially when we have um air units in play um you know we will be more cautious when she is actually around and her enter the battle passive of the game is actually you know it applies to the whole battlefield so and she also gives buffs to to rangers so there's a good possibility that ranger teams are going to dominate especially this month because the buff um for the buff for this month is going to, is is actually already a plus i think it's a plus 20 percent damage for pvp so more or less um with her addition in this month's uh in this season's buff is going to really hurt more um once she gives buffs to rangers and once she's being used by almost everyone that has her so again guys so here she is my problem is actually i don't have enough um fusion fusion course for her in terms of leveling her up up to 110 but you know eventually i'll get there so this is actually let's actually give her um some units in the air to attack and let us uh what do you call this let us kill her for a while and let us summon her so no not summon her again but um let's summon a ai then summon her because as you can see damages ground and air units when she comes in the battle again Pretty much very good, very ultimate. I'm not sure if she's going to be the meta awakened uh, ranger moving forward, but we will see. It really depends on how Southeast Asia PvP and PvE is going to play out. Okay, by the way, she's going to be very good in PvE at 9 out of 10. And PvP, she is going to over exceed actually that 10 limit with 11. Um... Uh, she is definitely uh, future proof and if you are looking for an awakened ranger now is not the, the time really to you know to put all your chips in for her and summon for her when she drops on october 27 okay by the way guys um the skins if indeed the the, the new halloween skins will, will be dropping in southeast asia they are really really good so prepare your wallets prepare your currencies because definitely a lot of us will be getting those skins as well. okay guys so thank you very much for staying this far in this video and as always guys um don't forget um when you subscribe to my channel this really helps me a lot and also don't don't forget to put a like to this video thank you guys stay safe Take care. This is the Warden and I'm out of here.